Hello, one of the things that the Djokovic story uh, exposes is this lie about um, one law for everybody. There isn't, there never was. In the past, we used a thing called discretion and human beings were the people who made decisions. Today, computers make a lot of the decisions and people box tick to fit certain criteria. And it's often very difficult when you're presented with a form to know which box you should in fact be ticking. Uh, it's not simply a matter of telling the truth, it's a matter of actually what is the box trying to, what, what truth is the box trying to learn? It's sometimes very difficult to know what the correct answer should be. As for the Djokovic saga itself, it strikes me that part of the problem is that if Djokovic is allowed an easy ride into the Australian tournament, uh, then it's a victory for the anti-vaxxers and there's a strong anti-vax lobby in Australia, which the government in Australia would be very happy to dampen down. So Djokovic is a very good scapegoat uh, for that purpose. At the same time, I think the government in Australia needs to be castigated for even thinking that someone like Djokovic or a sports personality could be allowed into Australia when the rules for ordinary people are so rigorous. I think we'd be much better off going, down, going, down, going back to the days where human beings were making discretionary decisions, were making decisions based on the merit of somebody's case. But human beings aren't doing that at the moment in any country. And this is what makes life so difficult. We need to get humanity back. Anyway, please, uh, if, you, if you've got some thoughts on that, um, if you understand something about how our various civil services work, please do put some points below and otherwise ring the bell.